important message inside this video. One, of course, Asia as a group, we committed to production. Second, you see how many, okay? So that means Asia already transformed from a PC brand to a more lifestyle brand. That's also the direction from the corporate. We are not aiming for owning a PC or IT brand. We want to be a more lifestyle. And that's why the reason we are here today, okay? And I will share with you, in Asia, we have over about 8,000 people in the world, and also 160 plus countries that we have office. And more than that, 2023, our revenue already reached close to 8 billion, okay? And this is the important involvement that we are ongoing in process today. As you can see, we are starting from computer, IT, and then going to computing, com computer science, server, ITS, intelligence parking system, even e-scooters, and even the Acer Medical, the diagnostic software for your eyes. And then move even further to the more lifestyle, apparel, luggage, and air purifier as well. And then more to come, right? This is the environment transformation that Acer Group is doing today. And you know what? That should be about 27% of Acer total revenue. Okay, so that means we are not just startup, we are already growing and very fast. Okay, and hopefully Acer will become a lifestyle, a for the people everyday life, you will see and touch the, the brand 25 years back. And we keep investing in India. So like Harish, you know, it's a group. We think <coughs> India is an important country. So not only for Asia India, but we also established a server company, Altos, in 2022. Already close to three years already. And then today, we're going to announce another one. And then, already 20 years. Actually, before flying into Bangalore, I visit uh, our Pondi Cherry factory as well. So over there, we do assembly our desktop, notebook, all in once. Okay? So, today, last year, the revenue we generate in India, already 65% are made in India, already. So we really appreciate the government give us opportunities and keep investing in India, all right? And then today, we go home of clients. And for this brand, our goal is also made in India, sell in India, and maybe sell in other country, all right? And again, thank you for coming today. This is not just a end. This is a starting point for a new brand new journey of a new brand in India and a new journey of Asia Group in India for a new lifestyle brand. Okay, thank you for coming today. Thank you. Many of the partners of uh, Asia India. Andrew talked about and said that Asia India came actually 25 years back. 999 the day when Acer India got incorporated. Over the last 25 years, we've been able to build up the customer base and for being able to build up the customer base for obvious points, the after sales support and other infrastructure has to be in place. There has been that kind of an investment that the company has been doing over these last 25 years. The global strategy is to have the core business, which is the PC business, and also have other businesses. And Andrew did take us on some of the products which are already available and available in some of the countries. This is a momentous year for Acer India because this is the 
commitment of the 25th year of Acer Inc. into India. Acer has a DNA of manufacturing. Out of Taiwan, headquartered companies, obviously the DNA would be around the manufacturing. And the first thing that we did in 1999, we got formed 9th September, but December 24th is when we announced the manufacturing base out of Pondicherry. That was the commitment that the company wanted to do to the manufacturing and that to the investment to, to India. So, Make in India is a talk of the last five to seven years, but that's the commitment that Acer gave to this country way back 25 years. So for obvious reasons, as I said, the DNA happens to be all around the manufacturing part, when it came to the Make in India part of it, over the last four to five years' time, we have very successfully participated in Make in India, PLI 1.0 and now PLI 2.0, we are completely glued into. And with the commitment to the customer base of bringing in products which are always fresh, we felt that the time has come in when some of the other businesses also need to come in. So a movement from the IT side itself into workstations, servers and solutions. And we formed this company, Alpas India. But then moving on, the journey has to go on. And Andrew did rightly talk about in saying, today we are here for yet another announcement. And I think as the, the months pass by, I, I won't call it years now, as the months pass by, I think we'll have more and more companies coming up to do more product businesses is in, in India. 25th year, and uh, I just cannot hold my excitement because uh, uh, IDC released its uh, results for the quarter one of 2024, and uh, Acer India has moved up from number four on total PC to number three. And two and three is now in manageable. So, needless to mention, but still I would say, and why not during the course of the 2024, we actually are able to, that we are into. I'm so excited to be announcing soon on the new company which will be launched in India, which would be Make in India. And as Andrew said, he said we may export, but I'm committed we will make sure that the products will be of such kind that Acer Inc. will have to think in terms of exporting them to the neighboring countries. All our Acerians who are here from Taiwan and India, Namaste and good afternoon to all of you. I think you heard this uh, from uh, Mr. Arish. He spoke about uh, how we are rooted in the technology. I think this is in our DNA. For last almost 50 years, you have seen Acer as an IT product company. We have always strived to ensure that technology bridges the gap between uh, the human okay, and also our products and services which will enhance the customer life. I think this is what we have been practicing for last almost 50 years. So when we have thought of as a company, when we have to diversify, when we have to look at uh, the other opportunities which Andrew did mention about. One of the category that we looked at was the appliances. Just to give you for your reference, the small appliances category globally is about 240 billion, which is huge compared to the IT product itself. Having such a global footprint that you have seen when Mr. Andrew presented, we are in 160 countries, uh, we have uh, close to about 65,000 uh, retail presence. With all that, are we leveraging enough our brand is always a question. I think this was also one of the reasons why we decided to get into the consumer appliances segment. When we also looked at the appliances market in India, this too was encouraging. I'm sure some of you would have 
heard this, read this, that India is going to be the fifth largest appliance market in the world soon. What is driving this growth is the increasing urbanization, electrification in rural India. I'm sure all of us are witnessing this for the last three, four years. Change in lifestyle of expanding middle class and also the growing nuclear families with increased awareness. Clubbed with the government initiatives, the policies which are inclusive are also taking the appliances market the next exponential growth. So with that, we were able to build our ambition. What we wanted to do is to have products which will enthuse and buy one point which is fresh technology at affordable price. So when you say the global brands don't really come up and get into a, com a compete or a negotiation part of it from a user point of view, we ourselves offer it at a price point which is affordable as far as the customer is concerned. To give you the answer, I would use one of the products and, uh, and, and tell you that you would have most of the USP going around su such points, which is what I'm going to tell you about. Let's look at the one product which most of the household today are using, which is the water purifier. And you have now, what is it that is the is the, is the talk on the water purifier part? And if the ladies of the house were supposed to be, be talked on. One of the biggest issues that we face is that in about six to seven months time, you would need to have a servicing done as far as the product is concerned. In two to three services, the cost of the full product is actually paid by you. So within two years, you actually pay service cost equal to the cost of a new product. We looked at as far as that pain is concerned. And in that pain, we have converted the water purifier to be do-it-yourself servicing model. You will be able to get the filters at a fairly low cost, which is available across the service centers, where you will be able to open and change the filters. And of course, the, the, there will be a display which will tell you that the filters require a replacement to be done right now. Now, this comes into your own hand and goes away as far as the point related to the serviceability part is concerned. When we talk about the specifications, you got to be, I talked about and I said, ACES stands by fresh technology. In technology, it's question of what specifications you think are ahead of. Point number one, the new, new norms which are being set by the government of India, 10 liter of water only produces less than two liters of drinking water at this particular stage. The norm changing from 1st January 2025, wherein every of the every product which will be sold in India will have to conform to the new standard, whereby you're able to improve it from 10 liters, giving you two liters of good water, drinking water, change it to upward of four liters. So the product that we have made available in 24 May itself confirms to as far as that spec is concerned. When we talk about water, it's just not the clean water. The talk of the town now is alkaline water. So the alkalinity also is a spec which is available in as far as the same product is concerned. So this is just to give you some of the other USPs which are there rather than taking more time. The point that I'm trying to put forth is that with that mantra of fresh technology at affordable price, we continue to have and will continue to have products which will stand up to the specifications ahead of as far as the competition at that stage is concerned and would be at price points which would be, be good for as far as the customers are concerned. If we were to look at the number of, of manufacturing bases that Acer decided to set up in the IT domain itself, 25 years back is very, very minuscule. Outside the Taiwan, there were hardly two or three manufacturing. We, today, if you look at, we have it in Brazil, we have it in India. And the reason for that is that the processes of manufacturing, which leads to the quality control mechanisms, is something which the company feels is of utmost importance. And they want to make sure that 
even in these places, we, they are able to have processes being completely followed in the way they are supposed to be. And that's something which is there within our own DNA. So that's why for us, it's not just a question of fresh technology and affordable price, it's a question of giving you a technology product, a cutting te a technology product, which will withstand as far as the environment in various parts of the, the world is concerned. So, 